to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about Bootstrap Accordions component. Accordions are a wonderful piece of component when specially used with a lot of data. Let's say you have different sections you want to represent one at a time. You can consider using accordions. Let's say you have a big form that the user needs to fill with different categories like say financial, personal, professional, etc. You can use accordions there as well. So there are a lot of use cases that uh, accordions can be used with. So don't get restricted by that. Uh, let's get started and see all about different use cases that we can use with Bootstrap accordions in this tutorial. This is part 33 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. I have planned around 40 tutorials on this particular series with some live examples. We have done few in the past. Please do check them out. So following is the index of all the tutorials I have done on Bootstrap 5. Please go through each one of them to learn and master Bootstrap 5 with me. If you have any doubts, please reach out to me in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help you. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Alright, so let's uh, learn about Bootstrap Accordions. So Accordions are a way to build vertical collapsing sections. Right, so vertically collapsing sections that you can build. Uh, it uses JavaScript, so you need to include bootstrap min.js as well. It's a beautiful way. Uh, you can have different contents into different navigation pieces. Uh, like I said, if you want to create sections in your page, which has different categories, you can use accordions. Important classes that you should remember are class equal to accordion. That's the parent accordion for you. And then you have accordion item. That means which will tell which section goes inside it. Inside the accordion item, we will have header and body. Right? So it would tell us that this is the accordion header and this is the accordion body of that particular given item. Right? So that's pretty much the high level classes that you should remember. Again, don't sit and code from scratch. Always go to get bootstrap. It has beautiful documentation, one of the best. So go to accordion and then uh, I will scroll down to this section. So you see this is the accordion. This is how vertically uh, collapsible sections you have one, two and three important classes. Like I told you will be accordion and then you have accordion item and accordion header and accordion body. OK, so let's go ahead and implement that in our application and see how it looks. So right now in my app, I have just a blank uh, breadcrumb that we did it in the last episode. So I'm going to continue to build on top of it. So we have the card header here now or I can okay let's build in this that's fine and I'm going to throw in accordion accordion that's the parent div inside it we can have more accordion item that means this will have a accordion header and a body accordion header and it would have accordion That's it. So now let's go ahead and say heading one and say content one. OK, and I'm going to copy this item a couple of times here. So we will have multiple. OK, so now let's refresh and you see this structure layout. OK, but right now it's not collapsed because I've, we have not given the classes. OK, so the class uh, for this is collapsed. So I'm going to copy this code, I'm not doing any much here. Uh, and let's go here, copy this, and we are going to build on top of it. So this is the some of the classes that are built in that you can use. And you can see the collapse one and the opening one, right? So the classes that are missing are these, which is in the header. It has to be data toggle and then give the ID of it, collapse one. Now this collapse one is nothing but your body that is there. Right. So again, like I said, don't go around um, having your own um, uh, writing your own code. Instead, try to reuse the from the documentation and then customize it accordingly. So here, if you want, uh, you can say personal details. This section complete this section for personal details. And the next would be let's say professional details 
and then let's say social details right so you have three accordion tabs you can have professional social and personal so this is one of the use cases that you can use to build um, the different form fields or section or how you want to display the data say notes remarks company details etc pretty simple uh, so and there are different variations that you can do which is always you can keep them open right so if you want to keep it always open then you can just say show all right if you, the, you want this to be always open right um, let's say the second one so we will add the class name as show so now see this will always show right initially that is on load see now this is showing on load but if you collapse it it would go away okay so that's the default one if you want to make it open by default you can uh, click on that now same way if you don't want to show the first one and only second one now you see the second one is open they click on the second and third and then behaves as it is so these are different variations of how we can use bootstrap uh, in our application um, bootstrap accordions and you can collapse them you can expand them based on uh, just a click so you see you can also customize this arrow if you want through some css variables alrighty uh, that's all that uh, is there about accordions uh, it really lies in how you implement it in your application but remember the main important classes which are uh, class equal to accordion class hyphen item class hyphen header class hyphen body accordion hyphen body and remember to use the collapse uh, without which it will not collapse right so those are the important things that you should remember if you are implementing bootstrap accordion alrighty that's all on this tutorial that was quick and easy ones um, the next one will also be pretty easy and quick which is a bootstrap nav and tabs um, very interesting because a lot of applications do use navs and tabs in different flavors I'll try and cover different use cases for you that being said thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next episode if you like my work and tutorials please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining